Safina, tell me um, how you got cast, how that all worked out. Oh, I, that's a very interesting story, actually. Um, can I look at you and Yeah, 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 oh, absolutely. Okay, good. So, I don't know if Ken knows that I know this. I think we've talked about it, but I'm not sure. But um, I came in, um, I read for Nikki. Actually, though, the first audition that I had, um, I was so late that I missed it. <laughs> and I kicked myself, and I never run late for stuff like that. And I kicked myself because I just had a feeling about it, you know? Right. And then it came back around two weeks later, and, you know, I was there early and anyway I went in and you know worked a lot in the room with um, Ken Senzel and just um, you know I felt really good about the audition and everything got a call maybe four days later that they actually didn't need me to come in and test that they were casting off of the tape and that I had got the part <laughs> so I was you know really happy and you know my parts this like tough, tough, you know, used to be, um, you know, street cop, kind of doing right. buy and bust, you know, very, and um, so I walked in the room as the character because I find that that works better for me. Yeah. And um, Ken called me after I had got the part and everything and said that he wanted to meet for coffee. And so I was like, sure. Well, I go and I meet Kim for coffee, and I'm myself. I'm like this, you know. Right, I'm like, right, right, oh my right. gosh, hi! I grew up in <laughs> Michigan, and you know, I was on a farm, and yeah, you know, and telling him all this stuff, and he was just kind of looking at me with this like blank stare in a way, um, and I never kind of knew why, but then afterward. I heard that he thought he had made the biggest mistake of his life because I was nowhere near the person that came in the room. You know what I mean? And he was just like, I don't remember her sounding like this because my voice is like 17 octaves higher than, you know, Nikki's voice. But you have, you have a, a New York accent. I give her like this little New York edge. Yeah, that's just my own little... But thing. you're even doing so, it now. No, you think so? Yeah, yeah, I think you're doing oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did live in New York for like six years, but I'm a Michigan girl. I feel very like... Midwest, very lateral sounding. When I call my mom, she's like, hey, Twink, it's your mom. <laughs>